Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Vista Viewpoint Guide for Guild Wars 2. My name is Mioni, and this comprehensive series of videos will show you how exactly you can get all of those viewpoints ticked off in every single zone interior in Guild Wars 2. Today we're looking at the Silvari 1-15 zone, the Caladon Forest, starting off with the first Vista over here. So here's your first one, this is northwest of Ogram Wilds. Uh, this one is fairly easy to get to, this vista, uh, as it's on the top of a cliff. If you find yourself below it uh, and you're wondering how to get up, you can simply walk around the edge to the left or the right of the hill to gain access to this vista. Um, there's not really much explanation for this, this is going to be a short one. For the easier ones, I'm just going to show you where they are and how to get to them and move straight on. Again, another very simple one here. This one is west of Sleeves Inlet. All you have to do is if you look up, you can see the map icon up there for the vista. If you go around the back of this little hill slash mountain, uh, there is a way up that you just jump up these green steps and you will find yourself at the top. You're probably wondering at this stage of the second one why this guide is necessary. Now, I will let you know now that the later ones in this game are an absolute nightmare to try and work out. On occasion, I have actually been thinking about going onto YouTube and searching for a guide myself. So that's exactly why I thought this series would be a good idea. And unfortunately, we're going to cover all of them, so we're going to skip past as fast as we can through the easier stuff and get onto the ones that you're more likely interested in. I will put a comment on this video as well as in the description the time code for each individual place with the place name which is nearest to the Vista location so you can fast forward to that location on this video and bookmark it for future use. Okay moving on. So here we are at the next Vista point this is at Sandy Cove Beach Fort. Uh, this one's really simple it's on the front of the building the north face of the fort building and is a simple piece of timber wood sticking out from the fort uh, which you have to jump onto, which is not really hard at all, and go across slightly to press your F button. Moving on to the next one. So here we are at the next vista in Ventry Bay. Now this one's a little bit more fun, in my opinion. A lot of you are probably going to be nerd ranging at this one of how to do it. Uh, this one is a simple jumping puzzle where you have to jump onto wooden plimps and scale the entire mountain face uh, by jumping these small plimps. So what you do is you make your way up and you have to time your jumps pretty well actually. If you stand in roughly the same position that I am in the video right now, you should have no problems at all. You only want to be jumping uh, from location, you don't want to do a run, run and jump to the small ones from the small ones, uh, you're going to have problems there. And make sure you don't double tap any of the movement keys, otherwise you're going to be rolling off the edge, which in this game is a real nightmare for jumping puzzles. So once you've made your way through the precarious jumping section, uh, you're rewarded with this vista up here. Unfortunately, the saliva is not enough. We need more saliva, apparently. I hate that quest. Somewhere. We'll have to use more saliva to expose her. And yes, we need more saliva. Good to know. Moving on. A little to the north of the previous waypoint, we have the Ruins of the Unseen. Now this one is a little bit of a bastard, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, there are a few things that throw you off the course of what you should actually be doing. Once you jump up here, and I will show you where I mean, once we're going up here, you have to jump across these precarious wooden beams again, like the previous viewpoint. But this time, they have some pretty horrible uh, turns and twists you have to get around. And once you get to this point, you may be wondering, oh, or maybe I have to go right. Wrong. There's actually a bit of a double negative. If you go that way, there's a dead end with some plimps. You think you can reach, but that's actually a red herring and will not actually let you get anywhere near the viewpoint at all. Now, I spent about 20, 30 minutes before I worked this one out. But you actually go left at this point. Once you go left, you have another set of plimps to go across and this jumping puzzle up here. Once you get all the way up to the top, then you can have a sigh of relief and there is a simple set of jumps with the last one being a bit of a long one, actually, a bit of a long jump. Um, but once you make that, you're rewarded with your viewpoint. Now, there are many more like this in the game and they get a lot harder the further you progress. For now, let's move on to the next one and hope for better luck. 
So this next one is just north of the previous viewpoint that we went to. This one is a doddle, absolutely easy in comparison. There's no jumping puzzles involved. All you have to do is make your way up to the battlements of the Trader's Green outpost, and it's to the west side of the outpost on a small battlement. Just a single jump will get you on top of here, and you press your F key. Right, moving on to the next one. So, from one easy viewpoint to another, this one directly east of Traders Green and north of the Titan Staircase. This is located on a jutting out cliff edge of the normal area. You can access this via the normal road on the map. Uh, if you're below the cliff, just walk round and you can get up here. Uh, to get to this one, all you have to do is walk back up the cliff through this small little spiky encampment with the borders here and work your way down the cliff edge towards your vista. And you're done. Let's move on to another one. So here we are at the eighth and final viewpoint vista for this zone, the Caledon Forest. Now this place is located uh, just directly east of the Tree March Estuary and south of the Rowan Woods in this fortification here. This again is a jumping puzzle one, but this one's fairly easy. Quite infuriating if you haven't got a steady hand though. Uh, it's located on the battlements uh, of the actual fortification here of this little town. Uh, basically what you have to do is jump up these wooden places uh, around it scaling the building a little bit like Assassin's Creed style uh, which I find rather amusing. Uh, there's a top tip here if you are jumping through these uh, precariously very thin plimps. Uh, the collision detection is actually uh, more respondent if you jump from the outside of the plinth to the inside. So go on the edge of a plinth on the far, uh, far edge of it and then jump inwards to where you're jumping to. And you have a better chance of actually landing or at least from my experience that's what happens. So that's the top tip for you there. Once you've managed to get up here, if you can actually get up here without crying, um, <laughs> I know a lot of people who have fallen below it and just went F it and closed the game on a lot of these. Hopefully this has been of some use to you. You're going to be seeing some outtakes of me feeling exactly like that on previous uh, jumping puzzles in this game. I hope you've enjoyed this. My name's been Mioni of Ace Games TV Clismcast. Be sure to subscribe to both Ace Games TV and my own channel with the annotation in the top right of this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time for more Guild Wars 2. Enjoy. Making a video about you. Oh, fuck you! Alright, I'm gonna do it this time. This time is the lucky number. Oh, come on. You can do it. Oh, we're gonna. Oh! Tree! Why must you be a tree? Okay. I'm feeling lucky this time, jumping puzzle. Come on. Give me what I need. No! Why would you. Double roll? Oh! Why would they put double roll into this fucking game? Oh, come on! What are you looking at, hermit crab? Piece of shit. Just because I can't jump. Yeah, what have you offered to society? You just sit in your shell all day and complain. That's right. Yeah, you walk off. You walk off. Son of a bitch.